Hello, this is a video on how to play the card game Suica. Uh, now, Suica is a Portuguese card game. Uh, and I might be pronouncing it a little um, incorrectly, but it, but it is somewhat hard for me to pronounce. Um, but it is a trick-taking card game that's played with uh, four players. Uh, and it's exclusively for four players. Um, and so you do need um, just the exact right number of players to play this game. Um, and so when you, I guess, want to play Suica, um, what you'll need is a 40 card deck. This is this is your standard 52 card deck um, with the 10s, the 9s, and the 8s removed. Um, you'll also need four players, obviously, um, as well as something to be able to keep score. Um, like a paper and a pen or a calculator or just keep it on your... Uh, I guess, on a whiteboard, just something to keep score. Um, and so four players are divided into two teams. Uh, the player who you want on your team, you will sit across from. And so I am sitting across from yellow here. Um, and brain is sitting across from red here. And so brain and red, is that a brain? Um, yeah, All right. so purple and red are teammates, and then yellow and Peach are teammates, right? So me and yellow are teammates, and then purple and red are teammates. You sit across from your teammate. Um, and so, the, um, well, this already happened, right? Because this is automatic here. Uh, but basically, the player to the right of the dealer uh, shuffles the cards. The player to the left of the dealer cuts the cards, basically takes the deck and cuts it um, in like at a certain point. Um, and cutting is basically take the deck split it at a certain point and make two decks right it's like it's like cutting the deck with a knife exactly that's that's why it's called cutting right you just cut the deck at a certain point um and then each player is then dealt 10 cards all 10 cards at a time so it's not one two three four two it's not one 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 two 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 it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on until each player has cards. Um, then, uh, what you do is the bottom card of the cards dealt to the dealer is shown to all players. Um, and so, um, you do know do know that you have a forty card deck, and so, um, the last card dealt, right? Um, in this case, that would be the fortieth card given. Um, it's shown to all players before it's given to the dealer, right? So the dealer gives the cards to each player, then he gives himself cards last. The last card, the 40th card, he shows it to each player. The suit of that card becomes the trump suit of the round. Now, in this case, um, the trump suit for this round will be spades. And so the objective of the game is to be the first team to win four game points. A game point is won by winning over 60 card points during a round. Uh, the amount of card points awarded is based on the value of the cards you and your partner win in tricks. The total points possible by cards are 120 each round. And so cards are ranked somewhat arbitrarily weirdly in this game. Um, do keep in mind that Suica is uh, perhaps the most popular game in Portugal, uh, the most popular card game in Portugal, and so it is quite a popular game. Uh, but basically, cards are ranked, and I'll read it out from highest to lowest: the Ace, Seven, King, Jack, Queen, Six, Five, Four, Three, Two. So, what's out of place? The Seven is higher than the Seven is ranked between the Ace and the King. The jack is higher than the queen, and then everything else, right? Six, five, four, three, two. It just follows the regular value. Do note that the player right of the dealer leads the first trick. Um, each player, uh, each other player must play a card in the same suit that was led whenever possible. And so spades were played here. So note that I do have spades. I cannot just play my ace, right? I must play a card with the same suit of the card led whenever possible. Um, in this case. An ace of spades was played. Since aces are the highest card rank, it's unlikely that I'll be able to take this trick. And so I'm just going to use my lowest card here, right? Because might as well get rid of my lowest card. And so let's just talk about what happened there. 
Now, the player right of the dealer leads the first trick once again. Uh, each other player must play a card in the same suit that was led whenever possible. The player with the highest ranking trump suited card wins the trick. If no trump suited cards are played, the player with the highest ranking card in the lead suit wins the trick. The player that wins the trick starts the next trick. So since uh, red here, red robot won the last trick, red robot starts the next trick. Uh, play continues until all cards have been played. If a player is unable to play a card in the lead suit, the player can play any card. So let's say I did not have a spade here, then I could play any card. Once you don't have, once you don't have any cards in the lead suit, then you can play any card uh, of your choosing. Uh, do note that um, scoring uh, a, both. I guess both teams keep track of the cards they win in tricks, right? And so the four cards they uh the four cards that team horizontal here, right? Because they're horizontally sitting, we'll call them team horizontal. The four cards that team horizontal won, uh, they added up all the card points and they scored it to fifteen. Each team keeps track of the points won through tricks. And so, what are the card point values? Each ace is worth 11 points, each 7 is worth 10 points, each king is worth 4 points, each jack is worth 3 points, each queen is worth 2 points. If you win a 6 through 2, that's worth no points at all. And so obviously, um, the higher ranking card you win, the more points you get. Once again, from highest to lowest, ace, 7, king, jack, queen, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Points. Ace is 11, 7 is 10, king is 4, jack is 3, queen is 2. So just realize that the card point values follow the card ranking, right? Card ranking, once again, ace, seven, king, jack, queen, six, five, four, three, two. Scoring, ace, seven, king, jack, queen. Ace is 11, seven is 10, king is four, jack is three, queen is two. Do note um, that if you win a six through a two, you score no points, right? And so that's just how you play. That's how you play Suica. Both teams try to win tricks and they try to score card points uh, using the card ranking and card scoring system that I talked about. And so it's just li literally that simple. Uh, there is one more aspect, but we'll talk about that later. And so right now we are just going to continue playing cards into the middle. Notice how he, even though he won the trick, he only scored three points here. Because he won the jack, but the rest of the cards were from 6 to 2, right? They weren't any other high-ranking cards, and so he only scored 3 points for the jack that he won. Note that a spade was led. This means I must play with a spade whenever I can. Now, since I played a queen, remember, know that, notice I scored 2 points for the queen. Now I will play the ace of... Ace of hearts. Notice I scored, how many points did I score? Scored, I believe I was at two. So I scored 14, don't, I'm sorry, I apologize. I, it's hard for me to keep track as well. Um, but basically, you, what's the object, basic, basic objective of Suica? You score points, uh, you, you just want to win tricks according to the ranking system, and you score points according to the scoring system. That's literally it. Both teams just want to score as many points as they can. Um, one more aspect, right? Um, obviously, we'll talk about that. I have to play my diamond since I have it. Um, what I'll do is I'll play my queen here. So do note that... Uh, what? Okay, so now let's talk about... Okay, so bot blocks, bot recycled, and bot brain. Let's just talk about how that scoring worked. 
do note right there what just happened. Uh, first of all, let's just take notice at the fact that each player was given 10 cards, all 10 cards at a time. Do note that the last card given to Brain here, um, everybody got to see it, see it, right? And they that determined the Trump suit, and then the round started. So, what's the objective of Suika? 10 cards to each player, recognize the scoring system, recognize the trick-taking system. And you just want to score as many card points as you can. Why is that? If you score more than 60 card points in a round, you get one game point. So notice how we had 59 and they had, I believe, 61. There are only 120 card points total in a round, in any given round. Um, and so they scored 61 and we scored 59. Since they scored over 60, they were awarded one match point or game point, right? If you saw that at the end there. Um, and do note uh, that the team, the first team to four game points or match points wins the game. So you just want to win four rounds. Win as in score over 60 points in four rounds, right? By winning, you'll have the majority of the card points in the round anyway. Uh, and so you don't really have to worry about the 60 number. That's just an arbitrary value. And so what's the objective of Suica? Win as many tricks as you can. Um, getting the majority of the card points in the round. First team to win four rounds wins the game. Do note that there are some special rules. If a team gets 91 or more card points in a round, instead of being awarded one match point, the team gets awarded two match points for having such a dominant victory. If a team wins every trick in a round, aka 120 points in a round, the team is instantly awarded four match points and the team instantly wins the game because that is just a very, very dominant victory. If both teams tie with 60 game points in a round, uh, the game point is carried over to the next round, making the next round worth two game or match points. And so that's quite simple, right? Um, and so we'll just play another round here, uh, just so you can sort of get the basic gist of it. Um, I'm going to play my Ace of Spades here, because I just want to take this right here. Yeah. So I scored 11 points for my Ace, right? Um, I also will mention how, how, it's, how the scoring is happening. Um, and so let's just uh, lead a trick here now. We'll lead with a two of uh, two diamonds. So we scored eleven points, right? That got us to twenty-two. Then we scored four points for the king. That got us to twenty-six. Eleven plus eleven is twenty-two. Plus four is twenty-six. Uh, he played his queen of spades. I have to play my spade since I have a spade. Um. Now, what do we play? Now we will play. I do know that we scored a lot of points there. We scored 21 points there. 22 actually somehow. I'm kind of somewhat confused. Um, but we scored 10 points for the 7 and 11 points for the ace. Um, and so now what we'll do is we'll lead with the 5. Do not forget that the 7 is the second highest ranking card. You might look at the 7 and say, hey, it's a low ranking card. The 7 is the second highest ranking card in the in the suit. Um. And so I'm feeling confident that we can win this suit. I'm going to throw my seven in there. I want it. I want points for my team. There we go, right? So we got points there. Uh, that's the ace of clubs. I do have to play a club since I have one. Once again, we score more points. That's a five of clubs. I don't have that. And so I'm going to play my lowest value card here. That's a two of hearts. I do have a heart. And so I will play my five of hearts here. Okay, so now they took some uh, tricks, unfortunately. I don't have a heart, so I will play my lowest value card. So now we will get one match point, right? We won this round. And so you can see it's a fast-paced game. It's wonderful. Very, very good. So look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. 10. 10. Last card is shown, given to dealer. All right, in this case, he was the dealer. Two of spades, I will play my only spade, which is a three of spades. Unfortunately, that's bad for me, right? Because spades are the trump card. So that means I don't have that many spades. I don't have a spade. Um, and so what I'll do is I'll just play my... I think we can take this, and so I'm going to play my king here. Oh, no, he took it with the set. Okay. That was bad by me. He got extra points there. Um, 
Now we played a king of spades, and now I will play my... No, I should have played my seven. Okay, it's okay. Ace of hearts. I'm hoping we have a heart. Please, please, please. No, 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 no. Okay. So they just took that. This is going. This is a very good round for them because they have a lot of the trump suit. However, our team does not really have that. Um, and so, looks like a lost game for us. Yeah. Lost round. Um, but sort of, I, I'm hoping you can sort of understand. Let's just reiterate once again. Aces are worth 11 points. Sevens are worth 10. Kings are worth 4. Jacks are worth 3. Queens are worth 2. All other cards have, are worth no points. The, in terms of ranking, highest to lowest, it's Ace, 7, King, Jack, Queen. And then the 6 through 2 is just ranked normally. So Aces, 7, King, Jack, Queen. Right? Remember that. Um... I think the point system you sort of understand, and so I'm not going to reiterate that, right? Ace is 11, 7 is 10, King is 4, Jack is 3, Queen is 2. It's quite simple to remember, um, and so I'm not going to reiterate that. Um, I just sort of understand. So do watch here, right? If they get 91 points, um, then they will indeed get 2 match points, right? If they get over 91 points. And so they didn't. Um, they only got one match point, lucky for us. But we did indeed lose this uh, lose this hand. Notice, 10 cards to each player, right? It's not one at a time, it's all 10. Trumps our spade once again. Alright, so let's just talk about uh, scoring here. And so, I mean, let's just talk about, I guess, just playing the game. Let's just play the game. I think we've gone through enough. So what I will do is I will lead with the Ace of Clubs. My belief is that every player must have at least one club. If not, um, now I will lead with the... I do have a Seven of Clubs. I will lead with a Seven of Clubs. I'm hoping each player has a club. Yes, wonderful. So we scored more points there. Um, now, what else am I hoping for? I am hoping that... Kings are, I, I don't want to use my trump cards yet, and so I will play a king of hearts. I'm hoping each player has a heart. And so, no, 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 no. That was quite high value there. They got the seven. They got the ace. So they got the seven worth 10 points. They got the ace worth 11 points. They got the king worth four points. That gave them 25 points right off the bat. Um, and so that's quite bad for us. Uh, but we'll recover here. Obtaining two points there. We will play the king of diamonds here. No, 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 no. This is going to happen. Okay. So we... No, he played the seven. He played the seven. That seven is higher ranking than the king. And so that backfired, right? You have to get used to the fact that the seven is higher ranking than the king. Otherwise, you might forget. Um, and it might backfire on you. Oh, no, no. That was Trump. Why did I do that? See, notice, you have to be quite active and you have to pay attention here. Let's say five of diamonds. I don't have a diamond. I'll play my ace of spades. This is the highest value card. Nothing that will beat that. Oh, let's play my two of hearts here. Seven of spades. We took that. Wonderful by my partner. I will play my king of spades here. We took that, and so now we have the majority of the points in this round, and so we will indeed win this round. So you can sort of see how to play. It's 2-2. Two, two. Remember, first to four wins the game. Sort of hoping you can understand how to play now. It's getting quite simple, but we will just finish the demo because this is quite a fast game. Points on hand. So notice how I show my card to everybody. That shows the trump suit, and then I take my card. In this case, it's um, we'll play what beats a jack. A jack in the trump suit? Well, a king would beat a jack in the trump suit, or an ace would beat. I don't, so I'll, I'll just play my seven here. Scoring that. We'll, play, we'll start off with a two of hearts. And so they actually scored that quite well. Let's just play a five of hearts here, a five of diamonds. That king of diamonds was beautiful there. An ace of diamonds, I know that that's guaranteed going to win. I do have to follow the lead suit, right? I cannot just play this, though. 
If I can follow the lead suit, I must, and so I will play my lowest six there. Seven of hearts, four of hearts. I do have to play a six of hearts here. Uh, we did take that trick, so that's good for us. That's a club. Um, a five was played, and so my strategy is to play an ace. I believe that nobody else will have it, and yes, we were correct here. Now I'll play four of clubs here. I try to get rid of my lower value cards. That way, by the time the circle gets to my opponent, he has sort of he has a greater idea, right? If he needs to use a higher value card, I do not have a queen of hearts. I will play my queen of diamonds. So now we won the majority in this round, and so now. So we won the majority of points, and once again, we will score one more point. Do note that you only score more than one match point if uh, a team scores 91 or more card or more card points in a round, um, or if a team wins every trick in a round. They, so if a team scores 91 or more card points in a round, they score two points. If a team wins every trick in a round, the team is awarded four game points and immediately, instantly wins the game. Um, and so now... We do have to try to follow the lead suit whenever possible. Uh, this was no value of them, and so it doesn't matter about that trick. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play my six of diamonds here in an attempt to have a somewhat... So the player with the queen took that. Um, and we don't have any diamonds, and so I believe me and robot blocks here uh, will actually lose this because we do not have many trump cards. I believe these two have... Team Horizontal here has all of the trump cards in the entire hand, I believe. Um, do know that my 7 will allow me to score right here. Allow me to bridge the gap here. Now I will play my... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. That was quite beneficial for them. Once again, Team Horizontal has all of the good cards this round. Um, and Team Vertical here is hurting. Um, and so now the objective is just not to let them get over 91 points. Otherwise, they will indeed. Otherwise, okay, this is getting close. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, so you know what happened there? So let's talk about what happened there. That's exactly what I was referring to. They got 108 points, right? And so this is just, it just started up a new game. Just ignore this. Uh, but they got above 91 points. So they were awarded two game or match points. That brought their total from two to four, right? And the first team to four wins the game. Thus, they immediately got to four there uh, due to scoring over 91 points. Thus, winning the game. If you do note carefully, here it said victory and they got one point for winning. And then they also got another extra point for 91 or more. Right? It said 91 or more, and it gave them an extra point. So you do indeed get an extra point bonus for having more than 91. So let's just sum it up real quick. Objective is to be the first team to win four game points. Uh, you win the game point by winning over 60 card points during a round. Uh, the amount of card points awarded is based on the value of the cards you and your partner win in tricks. The total points possible by cards are 120 in each round. And so it's just wonderful how the mathematics works out here, right? It's quite beautiful. Um, and so from highest to lowest, um, it's ace, seven, king, jack, queen, six, five, four, three, two. Um, at, the end of, at the end of the round or during the round, uh, players on the same team combine the card points won during the round. The team that scores over 60 card points is awarded one game point or more. Uh, the first team to four game points wins the game. The card point values. Aces are worth 11. Sevens are worth 10. Kings are worth 4. Jacks are worth 3. Queens are worth 2. From 6 to 2, uh, those no low value number cards are worth no points, even if you win a trick with them. And so it's quite useless to just win a trick um, when they're, uh, all the cards are from the values 2 through 6 because you gain no points from it. Some special rules. If a team gets 91 or more card points in a round, the team is awarded two game points. And you might say, why? Why is it such an arbitrary number? 120, right? Um, if you divide that by... F and I, I, This is just extra. You could just look at the 91 thing and just 
forget about this, what I'm about to say. Uh, but if you divide that by 30, I mean, if you divide 120 by 4, you get 30, right? And so 30 cards, I mean, 30 points is 25% of the points. 60 points is 50% of the points. 90 points is 75% of the points. And so if you score 91, um, that's basically rewarding the team for scoring more than 75% of the potential points available in the points pool during the round, right? Because 91 out of 120, that's over 75% of points. Um, do note that if a team wins every trick in a round, the team is awarded four game points or match points, whatever you would like to call refer to them as, um, and they immediately win the game. Do note that if both teams tie with 60 game points in each round, which is quite rare, but it does happen, uh, the game point is carried over to the next round, making the next round worth two game points. Uh, that wraps up how to play Suica. It's quite a fun game, and it's very, very popular in Portugal, um, as well as probably some, you could probably find it in some other European countries as well. It's quite easy. It's simple to play. It's easy. To, it's fast to teach, um, and it has a unique scoring aspect to it. And so I highly recommend playing it and teaching it to everybody you know. Um, and so thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.